Hi everybody, welcome back to Selling More, Better, Faster. My name is Michael Angelo Caruso. I've been doing sales coaching for quite some time now and we've got some ideas to share with you on this YouTube playlist that will help you increase your numbers, make selling more fun, and serve more people. If you are tracking this entire playlist, you know that last time we talked about, in episode three, this concept of networking five people deep. You can go back and check that video if you'd like to learn more about it. In this video, episode four, we're going to talk about something that I've been using for a long, long time to keep people thinking about me all the time. When I say people, I'm talking about prospects and customers, if I'm looking for recurring purchases and that sort of thing. I use a technique that has uh, served me very well and I want to explain it to you today and, and how you can put it to work in your business. So this is something you can use whether you're selling a product or a service. And here's the deal. When you sell a product or a service, people want to buy it when they want to buy it, not when you want to sell it. That's an important thing to keep in mind. People don't buy because you're ready to sell. People buy because that's the time that they need it. So if you are introducing the product or the service at the wrong time of their buying cycle, you are useless to them. Even if they love what you're offering, they're gonna turn you away. And that's gonna be the same kind of ugly, bald face rejection that, that you get you know, uh, for other reasons. You're going to interpret it as rejection, right? And so the idea is to get in step, to get in synchronicity and dovetail with the prospect so that you are approaching them at exactly the right time they need your service. An easy example of this is they're under contract and they wouldn't possibly look at another vendor until the contract expires. So you need to find that out. In my business, uh, for example, I, I do a lot of keynote speaking. And so if it's an annual conference, they don't, and, and the conference is in October, they're shopping for keynoters for that October event in January and February. They don't need me in September. They've already got their keynote for this year. They don't need me in November. They just finished their event. And the sooner I can figure this out, the better I'll be able to dovetail and get in line with their buying cycle. Now, the technique I use to do this is called TOMA. It's an acronym. And TOMA stands for, TOMA stands for Top of Mind Awareness. So when I establish top of mind awareness with my prospect, I am introducing myself to them at exactly when they need me, not approximately when I need them. You see, big difference. So how do you establish TOMA in the buying cycle of your prospect? Well, there are a number of ways, of ways to do this. To get somebody thinking about you all the time, you have to first of all understand that it's a thin line between, between TOMA and being a pest, right? If you're a realtor and you wanna sell somebody a house, and they're not in the mood yet to sell the house that they're in, you can't be knocking on their door, physically or metaphorically, and saying, hey, I've got a house for you, I've got a house for you. They already told you they're not ready, right? So you want to be friendly about this and you want to be non-pesty about this. What are some ways that you can do it? Well, here are some ways. One is that you can set up a newsletter distribution or a magazine format. Some people don't do newsletters anymore, but they're, they're doing a, a magazine or an e-zine, right? E-Z-I-N-E. -E. I do what's called a monthly mashup. So you're only gonna hear from me once a month, usually, and that's enough to keep you interested in what, I'm having, what I have to offer. You know, if you're hearing from me once a month and you've gotten, uh, say it's gonna be six months before you're ready for me, but you've heard from me five times, my name is going to be more top of mind than it would be if you received no monthly mashups from me, right? I know people that do five bullet Fridays, all kinds of other things, right? Motivational Monday, right? So you find your own niche and then you reach out to people, people on a semi-regular or regular basis so that you're establishing this top of mind awareness. Another great technique for this is a simple uh, look at the calendar because you can keep an eye on things like New Year's, which is everybody celebrates. Uh, you can't do Christmas because not everybody celebrates Christmas. You can do holiday greeting, right? 
And of course, birthdays are fabulous. And speaking of birthdays, Facebook has got this banged out where um, uh, because you've shared your face, your uh, birth date with Facebook, everybody you know showers you with birthday greetings on your birthday. So you can track this in your own software, your own CRM or your own whatever you're using to reach out to people and just uh, find a way to greet people for their birthday and it means so much to them. Now you're only going to get to them once a year on their birthday so you have to find other clever ways to achieve top of mind awareness besides a birthday. Another thing that you can do, in the old days, we used to do this thing called, uh, you would be somebody's clipping service. So if an article came out in a magazine, right, you would clip the article, and fuck, physically clip it, man, with scissors. <laughs> you remember these? And you'd physically clip it, and then you'd physically mail it to them, and we just don't do that anymore. What's mo a lot more likely is that you would go to the website and then uh, use some sort of a snippet um, application to uh, not physically clip it, but the snippet would create a screenshot of that article, and then you could email that to the other person. If you didn't have their email, you could post it on their Facebook page, or you could send it to them in a private message. I'm using a snippet, a snipping tool for this type of thing online. Another thing I do all the time is I just take my cell phone and I take a picture of something that I want to send to my person. Now, if you have their cell number, this is a really easy thing to do, but again, if you don't, you can always send it to them on LinkedIn or Facebook or in whatever way you're connected to them. So this idea of sending whatever you're going to send them, special delivery, right, private message, or perhaps um, in a FedEx box, right, FedEx, they have to sign for it. This is pretty cool. It gets people's attention. And these are clever ways to establish TOMA, or Top of Mind Awareness, with people that you hope would buy your product or service when it's time for them to buy it. Not when you want to sell it, but when it's time for them to purchase. So I hope you've enjoyed this little episode on Toma here in the Selling More, Better, Faster playlist. Next time we're going to talk about how to actually get really good with rejection to the point where when you're selling, you would actually request, for, re request rejection, right? And I, I'll teach you more about that on the next video. If you like what you're hearing in this video series, make sure you subscribe, click that silver bell on YouTube, and that way you'll be notified of new videos as they're posted. Best of luck when you're selling out there, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, everybody.